and intercession hallelujah Manchester if you must preserve this move Europe if you must preserve the move of God then there has to be an impartation of the spirit of prayer and supplication are we together there has to be a restoration of the prayer ministry in families a restoration of the prayer ministry in churches and I'm not just talking of five minutes oh praise God God bless you that is wonderful I'm talking of extended periods of travail in prayer that as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth her son hallelujah learn to pray revive your prayer life fathers pray mothers pray children pray young people pray prayer is for everyone luke chapter 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men men not preachers men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 17 it says pray without ceasing that when you get up in the morning every altar in europe is refired with prayer again Shalika Patosiata. you are in your office and while you are working you are praying making that prayer investment i pray that young people will arise that will begin to form prayer chains young people will arise that will begin to form prayer groups Shabakatosketa. young people will arise in the name of jesus christ hear me i charge every father in this place respectfully speaking make sure you spearhead prayer within your family do not get too busy for prayer when the devil wanted to attack babylon in the days of daniel he came up with a policy that challenged prayer for only 30 days please say after me in the name of jesus shout it like you believe say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i will pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray again in the name of jesus james chapter 5 and verse 13 the bible says is any man afflicted it says let him pray i assure you when prayer rises from every corner and every region across uk and europe the devil is already in trouble imagine that every church every prayer group every ministry becomes a place of prayer jesus said when he flogged the people who were doing business in his temple he said my house is it not written that my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations a house of prayer for all nations businessmen pray university professors pray parents pray preachers pray politicians pray career people pray. he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint number two the second key that preserves the move of god across a territory listen carefully is the regular convergence of believers within that territory for the purpose of training equipping and empowerment let me take it again the regular convergence of believers within that territory the regular convergence of believers within that territory for the purpose of training for the purpose of equipping and for the purpose of empowerment acts chapter 2 and verse 42 we read that earlier on in the morning there must be 
a consistent convergence of believers this is where the local assembly comes to play this is where apostolic and prophetic platforms come to play when believers converge together it gives an opportunity for methodical mentorship it gives an opportunity to train believers and to raise them to become men and women of stature in the spirit are we together the bible says they continued steadfastly acts chapter 2 and verse 42 they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers they continued every week every time period as you see as, as you see necessary there has to be a regular convergence of believers did you know that many of the things you read in the bible that you call epistles happen as a result of conferences that were put together like this that gave apostle paul the room to mentor the believers from corinth to ephesus to rome he moved from place to place that even while he was in prison his concern was the church in various cities that where he could not come there physically he would write letters those letters are the chapters and the verses that you read today there has to be a platform in every region. There has to be a platform. The local assembly alongside every other apostolic, evangelical and prophetic platform for the building and the maturing of, the maturing of God's people. If you believe that, say amen. And... By this second point, I respectfully want to charge everyone across this region who is a man and a woman of God serving in the vineyard. Remember, we came to strengthen your hands, to let you know that we love you, and to let you know that there are higher and greater possibilities in the spirit. But this is my charge. I beseech you by the mercies of God. God's people cannot come and sit down under a ministry and an assembly where the man of God himself,